Hi, my name is Ben Sayer. Welcome to this screencast for Mac Genealogists. In this video, I'm going to walk you through adding perspective to your Reunion 9 timelines by using event sets. In order to follow along, you're going to need to download a file called eventsets.zip from the Lester Pro site by using the link in the article that accompanies this screencast. After you've downloaded eventsets.zip, we're going to need to install it in your Reunion application support folder. Actually there's a folder within there for perspective events. So if you will unzip the file, for me I've got my files automatically going into the downloads folder so I'm just gonna click that one time into this stack and you can see this last entry says events set dot zip so if I just click on that one time it's gonna unarchive that and then open up this finder window and down here at the bottom, the highlighted folder is called Event Sets. So we need to take all of these items. So I'm just going to select all of them. You can do that by clicking on the first one and holding down the Shift key and clicking on the last one. Or what I did was clicked on the first one and then pressed the Command key, or held down the Command key and pressed the A key for selecting all. Um, or you can do the very same thing with the menu. Just have one of them selected and edit select all okay with all of those selected we're going to either copy them and then paste them into the directory that we want them to be in or we can um, paste uh, cut them and paste them so it depends on whether we want to move them or copy them in my case I'm just going to copy these files so I'll click edit copy 34 items so now we've got that in our clipboard we need to navigate over to the Reunion um, application support folder, uh, perspective events folder under that. So that's under your home directory. Um, so for me, the, the home is bsayer. So you're going to need to my, um, navigate to whichever, uh, whatever your home folder is. Just look for this little home icon if you're in this columns view, which is selected up here. So I'm going to click once on my home directory. Then I'm going to navigate to library. And then I'm going to go to Application Support, and then scroll down to Reunion. Click that one time, and then over here under Perspective Events, you'll see the default set of perspective events that comes with Reunion is in there. And this is where we're going to want to paste them. So with this folder selected, we can simply click Edit, Paste Items, and then all of those items have now shown up in this list. Now when we not navigated to the library folder under your home directory, I just want to point out that this is, should not be confused with the library directory under your um, hard drive, which is, there is a library folder there. Um, that is not the same thing, application support. Um, you should not find a reunion folder here. It is under your home directory library. Okay, once you've got those there, we can switch into reunion and actually apply those. Let's switch to Reunion, and then the uh, example timeline that I want to create for you is just for a few people. I want to create a timeline that shows John Calvin Sayer, my great-great-grandfather, and his spouses. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna i got some people marked here. As you can see at the bottom it says 26 people marked. So, for, so um, what I want to do is unmark them first. So I'm going to go to change mark and then mark, unmark everyone on my menu. Okay, so now it says down here no marked people. So I'm just going to go through and quickly mark just these individuals. So I only want to deal with a small number for this timeline example. Okay, so now I have my people selected that I want to include in the timeline. So I'm going to go up here to the menu bar and click on create scroll down to timeline and click one time on that. In this case I want marked people only and that tells me there are four of them and then this has to do with how the names are presented. I'm just going to present them that way and click chart. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it better and I'm going to make this smaller so that, oops, not bigger, smaller so that we can see what's on that. Okay, so actually let's, let's try making it bigger and just centering this and see how that goes. Okay, so we've got our, our four individuals. 
John Calvin Sayer and his three wives on there. And um, so let's add a perspective set. So if you go up here to Timeline on the menu bar, click one time, go down to Perspectives, and then over to Add Set and click that one time. And that'll open up a little window here that will let us select from the set of perspective events. In this case, I think uh, what I'm interested in is seeing is what was going on in North America at the time. So I'm going to select this North American History events and then Import. And you'll see we get a bunch of events now along, up on top of this chart. So this tells me different things that were going on in North America at various points here. Um, so you can see all these things happen before John Calvin's, all the things from here to the left happened before John Calvin's third wife was even born. Um, and yet he experienced them all. So um, this, can, this can provide um, some great perspective, I find, in what was going on during their lives. And it's just a handy thing to have around. Now, one of the things that I want to point out before we end this screencast is that um, this arranges them in this format, um, but you can change that quite simply uh, if you go back on timeline and then perspectives. Um, that's set to clean up left, so we're going to try clean up split. I think this this will work better for this. So you can see it just um, doesn't make such a tall chart. It, it uh, rounds these out a little bit more. So once it passes a, a midway point, then it starts making them um, go to the right instead of um, coming from the left.